is Bill Long with Electronic Design, and we got a chance to take a look at uh, where the Ford F-150 gets built. Ford designed the system from the ground up, literally. The building itself is specifically designed to reduce the amount of energy and the impact on the overall uh, environment. The roof itself actually has plants growing on it. The entire system is designed to essentially take all the water that's coming in and drop it down through, filter it into the water table as opposed to just dumping it out uh, into the sewer system like most plants do. The roof also has two different kinds of skylights and this allows a significant amount of light to be brought into the plant thereby reducing the amount of energy you need for lighting. The lighting system actually takes this into account and adjusts accordingly. As you might guess from the size of the building, the assembly line inside is massive. Uh, it weaves back and forth and is, has multiple layers, uh, literally going from the ground floor all the way up about uh, three or four stories. And the vehicles and the parts and everything move throughout this entire system. It's all mechanized, but it's integrated with people that are actually working on the assembly line. Ford uses some robots in the assembly line. In particular, there's one here that is actually installing the front windshield to the car. It uses a combination of sensors to be able to place this very accurately. The car body itself is actually going to be in different positions, so it needs to adjust accordingly, just like a person would. The assembly line and all the pieces span the multiple uh, floors within the building, but people are found mostly on the base level where they're going to be able to add things to the vehicle. A lot of the stuff that moves up above tends to be the components that are going to be delivered to the various stations that are going to be then incorporated into a particular vehicle. Sometimes parts of the vehicle or the vehicle itself is actually moved up and through the uh, system to make it a lot easier to place the workstations. The flow of the assembly line is uh, linear in you know, a certain base area, but uh, the vehicles as it is, is assembled moves up, down, and around the system. Here it's being lifted up and then essentially moved across uh, to another location in the assembly line, or it's actually going to be moved back down to the bottom. Um, and from there, uh, additional parts are going to be added to the vehicle so that eventually it will wind up being a fully assembled and uh, runnable F-150. Different components of the F-150 are put together in different locations. For example, here is the truck bed uh, essentially being assembled along that portion of the line. And eventually the finish bed is moved over and up so that it can be added to the assembly line and incorporated to the cab and so on uh, at a different point within the assembly process. Here are some of the partially assembled doors getting ready to be queued up. Uh, that way they can be assembled at a different rate and eventually they're going to be incorporated into the vehicle itself. These four robotic arms don't actually touch the truck. What they're doing is moving cameras around so that they can be positioned to inspect various joints and welds to make sure everything has been done properly. They can do this over and over again and uh, they don't get very tired of looking at the vehicles as they're going by but they do a very good job of making sure that the quality of the truck or the finished truck is going to be very high. If they detect something then somebody farther down the line will actually take a closer look and see whether it can be fixed or whether it's just the robot uh, not seeing things quite well. But they uh, have been doing this for quite a while and it's quite reliable. Eventually the trucks make it out the end of the assembly line and they're actually runnable. And any additional changes uh, that are required or fixes are going to be taken care of uh, at this point. If you take a look at the assembly line, you might notice something that's kind of interesting. Look at how the cabs are placed. They're actually at different heights. 
One of the things that you always wind up with a problem with on assembly lines is repetitive stress syndrome. This is actually a way that the person that's going to be putting the same particular device into a car is going to always have to be moving in a different fashion as the car moves along the assembly line. And so it helps a little bit. So that's it for the F-150 assembly line. Check out some of the other videos that we took. Uh, there were a lot of other pieces of Ford technology that we saw. Everything from what was going in the 2015 F-150 as well as things like the Transit, a robotic vehicle that they're now using to test things, and so on. Links are to the right here, so click on those and away you go.